If you're a New Zealand exporter with a limited budget launching into an export market, spending money on digital tools may not be your top priority. But even using just a few free tools can make running your business a whole lot easier. Hear me out. You're busy, you've got meeting after meeting at all times of the day, logistics, marketing, it's a juggling act. Those admin tasks you could do without, like managing your schedule, or social media channels, all can be made a bit easier with some clever digital tools. And with the right ones in place, you can free up time to work on your business rather than just in it. Here are some tools that have really helped other New Zealand B2B exporters. B2B sales journeys can be full of phone calls and Zoom meetings. Managing your calendar and taking notes and all those calls can get tiresome, especially when you're in a completely different time zone. This is exactly where tools can help. For this job, Kiwi exporters have found transcription tools like otter.ai to be very useful. These tools can take your notes for you, whether that's in a meeting on Zoom, over the phone, or even just listening to you speak and turn it into text. When it comes to organising your schedule, tools like Calendly can make appointments available for people to book in with you. This massively reduces the emails back and forward required to find a meeting time and takes the annoying task of figuring out time zones. Google, Siri and Alexa, the free personal assistant associated with Apple and Android phones, can also give you a helping hand with booking appointments, setting reminders and helping with basic queries. Hey Google, add a follow-up appointment with Sandy next Tuesday. It's gold. Okay, You've nailed the basic admin. Let's look at the tools that can really make a difference and expand your reach into the new market. There are a few tools to streamline the quoting and proposal part of the sales process. With these tools, you can customise templates, access content libraries, and use features that nurture and track a quote. And if staying on top of your deals starts to feel overwhelming, you can use tools like PandaDoc or Proposophy to set up alerts to follow up on your prospects so no balls are dropped. If you haven't heard from your prospects for a while, we'd love to think they're at home mulling over our proposal. But to be honest, that's often not the case, and the door is wide open for one of your competitors. These tools can help you keep leads warm and avoid another competitor snapping up a lead you let lag. As with any of these tools, many have free trial periods which allow you to test for you, to check out and see if there's any value in it for you. The last tool to boost your sales process is live chat. It's quickly becoming a popular replacement for contact us forms, providing instant response to basic questions. Live chat and Zendesk are just two examples that allow your team to communicate directly, but they can also do reporting and transcripts of the chat, which you can keep on record against a potential customer or even use it to summarise the discussion and send it through to them. Marketing automation tools aren't new, but they are very useful. Tapping into them can really show your customer you know them, even though they are so far away. The best tools send emails when they know your customers are most likely to open them, and resend them if they aren't open, so people get your message. Tools like MailChimp and Campaign Manager on the budget-friendly end of the scale. But many CRM systems, like HubSpot, have these features integrated. Let's talk about social media, whether you love it or you hate it. Tools like Hootsuite and Sprout Social are designed to help automate it this part of marketing. You can post across all of your platforms from one place and schedule future posts so you don't have to remember each time. You can even do content curation social listening and analysing performance. Okay, I promise this is the last one and it's one of the best. AI tools have become invaluable. Whether it's Microsoft, Chat, GPT or Google Bard, they take automation to another level when it comes to helping you put information together for pictures, doing desktop research on a competitor or market and any research that you may do as part of your general business. Digital tools can do a lot for you, but they aren't designed to understand your clients' needs. 
the nuances of your export market or what makes your business unique. But if you use them to automate a few things, it could just give you a bit of time back so you can focus on other activities. It's super easy and you'll be surprised how a few simple tools can make a big difference to how you manage your B2B export business. For more information and help on exporting, please visit my NZTE.